Shopping for furniture can be very confusing, especially if you're looking to get wooden furniture. Throughout this video, we're going to compare solid wood and wood veneer so you can make a more informed buying decision. Hello, my name is David Gert. I'm a furniture specialist at Furniture Fair. In today's video, we will discuss the benefits and drawbacks of owning solid wood furniture, along with the benefits and drawbacks to wood veneers. We'll talk about who would be a good fit for each of these styles, and we'll also discuss what you can do if you have any questions or concerns. So what is solid wood? Solid wood simply means something is made from boards or lumber and not manufactured or engineered wood. Uh, some of the benefits of solid wood are its durability. Solid wood's gonna last a lot longer than uh, wood veneer would normally last. Um, one of the other benefits is, is that it gives you a wow factor. When you walk into a room, you can really tell and feel that something is solid wood. If you ever do damage a piece of solid wood, it's gonna be much easier to repair or refinish than a wood veneer product is gonna be. Because it endures a lot longer than wood veneer furniture, the upfront cost can be spread out over years of use. So generally it's more economical if you can afford it to buy something in solid wood. I wanna say one more thing about solid wood furniture. If you get an opportunity to ask your salesperson about a catalyzed finish, that's a high end finish that goes on wood that really is much more protective than just a straight lacquer. Some of the drawbacks that might come with solid wood furniture are it's gonna be heavy. You have to remember that. So if you like to move your furniture around a lot, that might be a disadvantage for you. If you're new to the marketplace and your budget is a little tight, maybe solid wood isn't the investment you wanna make right away. The solid wood piece you see on the showroom floor versus the one you might get delivered to your home is gonna look a little different because it's just made from a different tree. So it could look a little different. The grain pattern could be different, the knots, and it could be different. So there's not a, as a consistent look to solid wood as there is with wood veneer. So let's talk about wood veneer. You know, most people wanna know what is it? Well, the first thing you need to know, it's wood. It's the same as solid wood. You have to treat it the same as solid wood. So it is eh, about that thick. Think a 16th to an eighth of an inch or one millimeter to three millimeters thick. What are the benefits of a veneer furniture? Why do manufacturers use it? Well. It can be very cost effective to use it. Number one, instead of using a solid board, they're using thin slices of that board. So they get a lot more material per board foot. Uh, wood veneer is also more eco-friendly and it's much more efficient in the manufacturing process. The price point for veneer is gonna be at a, a lower normally than solid wood. It can also be bent to create curves in furniture that solid wood can't create. What are some of the drawbacks of wood veneer? It is more susceptible to water damage. It is also hard to finish or refinish or repair if you have damage to it, the top of it or the side of it. It can only be refinished once because it's so thin. Who's a good fit for solid wood furniture? The first thing is, are you trying to make a wow statement with the piece itself? When you walk into the house, your family, your friends just notice that, hey, look, I have a really nice solid wood piece of furniture. A solid wood furniture or, or any item really made of solid wood is a really good investment for an heirloom piece of furniture. So if you're looking for an heirloom piece that you wanna be able to pass down to your children, their children, their children, uh, look for something solid wood. So who's a bad fit for solid wood furniture? Someone who moves around a lot. I mean, if you're gonna move a piece of furniture from one apartment to a next apartment, you know, solid wood furniture is heavy, that can be tough to do. Yeah. Also someone who likes to change their furniture a lot because the upfront investment in solid wood furniture really pays off over time. So if you're gonna change your fashion, maybe solid wood furniture isn't for you. Solid wood furniture might not be good for someone on a budget too. But if you're just out of college or you're starting your own place, uh, wood veneer furniture is just a lot better value for you. So solid wood furniture may not be something you wanna put the upfront cost in. Who's gonna be a good fit for wood veneer furniture? If you're looking for a really high-end inlaid piece of furniture, Wood veneer is probably gonna be your way to go. There's a real look that comes with high-end quality veneer furniture you can't get with solid wood. So you're gonna be a candidate for that. Also somebody starting out on a budget, again, is gonna be somebody that's a good fit for veneer furniture. Who's a bad fit for veneer furniture? You might wanna consider having a solid wood top if you have a lot of kids and you wanna use something in the dining room area that's gonna get a lot of wear and a lot of abuse. A lot of the previous reasons to avoid veneer 
have been negated by the manufacturing process that the manufacturers use on the substrate, plus the glues are amazing that they use now. So now that you know a little bit, what do you need to do if you want to learn more? Go online at furniturefair.net and talk to one of our online sales associates. You could make an appointment, come in and see one of our sales associates, walk around and have them explain the differences between something that's solid wood and wood veneer.